Good evening, I'm Lee Anderson. We begin tonight with some disturbing content. Bend Police today released a five-minute video compiled during the investigation of the August 28th fatal shooting at the East Side Safeway. It includes images of the gunman prior to his entering the store and as he eventually made his way through the aisles. Because it came to us from the police, we're sharing carefully selected portions which do not show the gunman shooting. Today, Bola Badabo asked Ben's police chief why the video was made public. Chief Mike Krantz says the footage was released to satisfy a tremendous amount of public records requests. It was posted this morning on the department's website under records. The footage comes from various security cameras put together for the investigation. We put this out as, as a legal obligation of what we're required to to comply with public record laws. We made the decision to release what we believe would satisfy or answer those questions in the public records request, as well as some printed material with it to identify what was the video showing. Ben Police Chief Mike Krantz says the footage confirmed their suspicions. Providing proof of some of the theories that we uh, initially suspected in the case, that it was a single person involved in the incident. In a chronological order of events, in this video, a ring camera captures the shooter moving through the Fox Hollow apartments in Bend. At this time, shots have already been fired. A camera from the rear dock of Costco showed him making his way between Costco and Old Navy before shooting into and around big lots. People respond to hearing the gunshots in the parking lot area by taking cover behind various objects inside. From this angle, a couple people leave their hiding spot. And moments later, shots are fired in the front doors of big lots. The view switches to show the west entry to Safeway, and though we don't show this on camera, Glenn Bennett was shot near that entrance. The shooter is captured on an aisle camera moving east through Safeway. Near the produce aisle, you can see the man many consider a hero, Donald Sir Jr., moving from crouching behind a display to try and stop the shooter before he is shot and killed. Two Bend police officers enter the East Safeway entrance right before the shooter sits down and takes his own life. It's images of violence, it's, it's horrific. Krantz said more than 80 witnesses were interviewed in this case, and more than 173 pieces of evidence had been collected, with at least 90 videos and sets of photos. From casings of, of a um, firearm, to video evidence, to documents, to computers, cell phones, um, blood evidence. The Crisis Stabilization Center in Bend is offering support for those struggling to deal with the impact of the shooting. One-on-one -on -one or small group support will be available Friday through Sunday from 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. This was traumatic for our whole community and the, the importance of our community healing um, is our number one priority. Along with the five-minute video, Ben Police released about a 400-page document related to the investigation online. The case is now described by the department as closed, and as Chief Krantz mentioned, it concluded that the gunman acted alone. Bolabadibo, News Channel 21.